today's video. First news, Air Force continues patrol in West Philippine Sea amid COVID-19. Second news, 2 p.m. patrol boats deploying to Naval Forces Central. And third, JNSTF destroyer, fishing boat collision occurred in our coastal waters. You are not subscribed to our channel yet? Click subscribe to watch our amazing videos and hit the bell to notify every time we upload new videos. Happy watching. Air Force continues patrol in West Philippine Sea amid COVID-19. The Philippine Air Force PAF is continuing its maritime patrol in Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP Western Command Westcom Joint Area of Operations. Aside from securing the land, air, and sea of Palawan and Malampaya deep water gas to power project from threats emanating from terrorists, rebels, other lawless groups, and calamities. Westcom is also responsible in preserving the country territorial integrity in the West Philippine Sea. Amidst the urgent situation due to COVID-19, still the Philippine Air Force once again deployed two S-211 aircraft to continue the conduct of Maritime Air Patrol MARPAT in the Western Command Joint Area of Operations on April 2, 2020. PAF Tactical Operations Wing Toe West said in a statement. It noted that as preemptive protocols on COVID-19, disinfection to the pilots and crews and aircraft was conducted by the City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office CDRMO upon arrival at Antonio Bautista Air Base in Puerto Princesa City. Two patrol boats deploying to Naval Forces Central, the Littoral Combat Force spearheaded the lifting operations of PB-356 and PB-358 at Captain Moya Boat Landing, Naval Base Heraclio Alano on April 2, 2020. The commander, Littoral Combat Force, Captain Alfonso F. Torres PNGSC and the command team personally supervised the successful conduct of the operation and were subsequently transported to LS-550. PB-356 and PB-358 will be deployed to Naval Forces Central AOR to be utilized in various maritime operations. Further, said activity would not be possible without the combined efforts of the different Philippine Navy units such as NSSC, NCBDE, NLC and NIC. JMSTF destroyer, fishing boat collision occurred in our coastal waters, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hua Chunying said, during March 31st press briefing that the collision between Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force JMSDF, Heidoke's class guided missile destroyer, JS Shimake's DDG-172, and a Chinese fishing boat occurred in the coastal waters of China. Hua said, according to report, that there was a collision, March 30th in the East China Sea, east of Zhaoshan, Zhejiang Province, involving a Chinese fishing boat and a Japanese SDF vessel. The collision damaged the Chinese fishing boat and caused lower back injury in one fisherman. China Coast Guard is still dealing with this on site as we speak. The cause of the collision is under investigation, the Chinese spokesperson said. I want to point out that the collision occurred in the coastal waters of China. The Chinese side has expressed concern to the Japanese side over the Japanese SDF warship sailing in the relevant waters and endangering the safety of the Chinese vessel, she added. Hua noted that they are in communication with the Japanese side on the issue hoping Japan will cooperate to determine the cause as soon as possible and prevent such incidents from happening again.